questions. Go ahead and poke your Wes, we'll start with you. And then when y'all went back and kind of straightened out that film from Georgia, what were your thoughts of it? Was anything different from what you thought it was? Was there more opportunities there, or more more plays missed or, or from, from whoever? Or what were your thoughts on watching mm -hmm. it? Yeah, just a, a lot of um, self-inflicted, you know, mistakes. And, um, you know, Georgia came out, they played a great game. I hats off to those guys, but we really definitely left a lot of lot of plays out there from just us not doing things that we normally do on a daily basis. Um, you know, it all comes back to little things. You know, paying attention to detail, and we didn't do that on Saturday. Yeah. And then Jalen mentioned in the post game that at times they couldn't hear their snap count. Uh, how do you guys fix that, adjust that, or, or tweak it to where that communication? I mean, that, that starts with just, you know, minor details, looking at the ball. It shouldn't be going off of my snap count. It should be going off the movement of the ball. Um, you know, um, the, the environment that we play in shouldn't affect how we play from a mental standpoint or, um, you know, a physical standpoint. From what's going around, going on around us and off the field, it shouldn't affect it, what we have going on on the field. We should play one play at a time and, um, you know, play confident in, through how we're taught, through our technique. And, um, you know, moving forward, just playing confident. You know, I feel like we didn't really have too much confidence out there due to, you know, prior drives uh, at the beginning of the game. wasn't going the way we wanted it to, but we had to continue to push through that. Adam and then Eric. You know, you, you talk about a lot about humility and how you approach the game, but also confidence is so much a part of this team and this offense. How do you balance humility and confidence now after a loss? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's the same way, just bouncing back, you know, it's a learning process. That's something that... I communicated to the offense, you know, before the game was even over. Like, we'll, we'll learn from this and we'll bounce back. Um, but, you know, moving forward, just, just wanted to, you know, continue to encourage guys as I do on a daily basis to, to get in here, get extra work in as a normal week. You know, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, we didn't play well and we didn't have the outcome that we wanted. You know, that, that's part of the game. Um, sometimes it, it won't go your way, but, you know, you can prevent that, um, you know, moving forward. So. Just continuing to uh, encourage my teammates to take it one day at a time, one rep at a time, and uh, give 100% for their brothers to the left and to the right of them. Eric, and then you kind of spoke on it right there, the staff of clear mentality, uh, some ways to go about that this week. And how important is it just to come out and play your game with Missouri to try to get back on the mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very important. I mean, it's you know, huge to us that we come out and get back you know, into how we play, and that's that's um, real fast and, and, and having fun out there as well. So, um, you know, getting back to the basics and dialing in on those little details so that we can prevent them moving forward. From Mark and then Paige. And I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked the trail just a few minutes ago. When you got away from Georgia and you got out of there and you got back home, there were some surprises in college football. There were some other mm -hmm. things that happened. Were there conversations that were had when you talked to each other and you say, guys, we, we're still in this thing. We've got to put this behind us and move on. Were there any of those conversations at all? Yeah, you know, um, like I said, you know, it was a learning process. That's what I wanted to communicate to not just the offense but the rest of the team. Um, that was the, the overall message um, after the game that we'll move on from this. And, you know, it, any, any Saturday, it could be anybody's day. Uh, so, you know, you can't take anyone for granted. That's why we prepare the way we, we prepare and um, go out there and want to compete at a high level. Uh, taking care of our business off the field and on the field and and just um you know doing the the right things in preparation so that we can um execute how we want to execute and um in the end uh, get a win at the end of the day um, it looked like at some times maybe you held on to the ball a little too long once you had a chance to kind of look back through everything how would you assess like your personal performance mm -hmm. and then are, how are you uh, recovering today are you sore what is that process like mm -hmm. Um, no, looking back at it, I didn't hold on to the ball um, too long in any circumstance. Honestly, uh, maybe sometimes when I got out of the pocket, I could have threw it away. But um, you know, just me being me, I was just trying to make a play. Um, you know, game of football, you'll have bumps and bruises and soreness. So yeah, I'm sore. I mean, it's Monday, so um, we want to come in on Monday and get a nice shake out, get the blood flowing, and get back into the groove. So Tuesday, we can hit the ground running. Patrick and then Vince and Eric. Um, I I envision it being just a you know another day at the office like like we say but um it's my last time in in Neyland. 
Um, it's it's a real bittersweet. Uh, very, you know, very excited to see a lot of my family members there that haven't got a chance to see me play, you know, since I was little or in high school. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a day for the family and, um, you know, a day for the Vols just to go out there and enjoy kneeling. How many family members actually are you bringing in? Maybe like 30. That's just, you know, how we run our offense. Um, our coaches want our cleats in the ground uh, as soon as possible. Um, that's just, you know, the, the procedure that we take. Um, other, other teams have different, you know, different footwork. It's, it's all determining on what uh, their scheme is and what they want to do with, with their offense. And that's just how we maneuver in ours. And a number of you guys have pointed out this is a copycat league. What are some things that you anticipate other opponents are going to try to do mm -hmm. to you that this time of year you don't want to be better prepared for? Yeah, um, you know, really it's just us being prepared and doing what we do on a daily basis, and that's preparing the right way and focusing on the minor details so that we can go out there and, and get things that we want to execute, get those executed um, and, and play our game. You know, we, we were off our game. We didn't do things that we do on a daily basis. Um, you know. We, like you said, we had some, some miscommunication on the snap count. We had miscommunication on plays. Um, you know, we had false starts. You know, a lot of things that we need to eliminate out of our game that, that hurt us. There was nothing, like those pre-snap penalties and nothing that Georgia did. It, that was all on us, just not being locked in. Um, you know, and a couple key plays we could have made that, you know, we didn't, so. Yeah. Eric, Caleb Williams and Missouri's defense seems to think they do well. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, you know, they're they're incredibly, um, <clears throat> incredibly uh, physical up, up, um, you know, on the line of scrimmage. Um, linebackers read really well. Their their safety is is incredible, um, good size and can move really well. Um, DBs on the outside play really aggressive and scrappy and, and play hard. So I'm, um, you know, looking to go out there and compete at a high level on Saturday, and uh, get back into our game. We'll do two more, Mark, and then Wes. And then when you when you leave here. You're going to leave a legacy if this program continues to stay where it is. If you you were the guy that turned it around and took it to that level, when you leave here and you look back, what are your thoughts of what the sustainability keys are going to be for this program to get where you got it? Mm -hmm. Just continue to be coachable. Listen to listen to your position coach. Listen to Coach Hype. Listen to the the older guys that have been in the program these past couple of years that have seen the change. In, in culture and um, it's a it's a it's a lot of young guys in the facility that that have the opportunity to you know step up and voice their opinions as leaders. Uh, we've got a lot of young leaders and a lot of young playmakers that I'm eager to see uh, out there on the field. And I know we have a lot of great recruits coming in as well. So just excited to see um, this program continue to elevate and um, you know be at that that top stage of college football. The last question, Wes. And you, you play football. Um, you know, really, I've, I've been so just locked in on, you know, what we need to do and um, being a great leader to my teammates and how can I encourage my teammates to, you know, stay the, stay the course and continue to um, do the things that we've been doing since January. And that's, that's just putting in extra work and continuing to, um, continuing to stay dialed in to the task at hand. And that's winning ball games. So, um, you know, really, the the overall the overall goal and message is to you know do what we what we do on a daily basis, and that's come in and prepare the right way. That's coming in, encouraging our brothers, um, and and having a positive attitude while we do it, and having a good time as well. Um, it's a blessing to be in this position, and uh, we'll continue to to um, you know approach it as, as that. I guess in terms of what what for a team that went through a loss like that last year. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it would. I'm sure it'll, it'll give them some extra fuel to the fire. Um, you know, us us coming off a, off a loss, I'm, it definitely fuels our fire. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm sure it'll be a competitive and, and um, physical football game on Saturday.
Thanks, Edwin. Thanks, Thanks, Edwin. 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 Thanks,